We're going to do a brief video on FCX, FCX stock price today. And we're looking at a daily chart of Freeport McMoran with a green five day moving average on it, a red 20 day moving average, and a blue 200 day moving average on it. And let's take a look at this stock real quick. We can see we made highs back here in late March of around 51 bucks a share, almost 52. Came down could just crash through the 200 day moving average which at that time was still upward sloping and uh, entered the bear market briefly rallied back up above the 200 day and then crashed down for a serious bear market starting around the early june second week in june of 2022 this summer so we're in a bear market in this stock right now you can see it beautifully respected the 20 day moving average all the way down and put in a bottom down here it looks like in july mid july of around 24 dollars a share so since that time we've been in a bear market in this stock we've been distributing and you can see that our rallies and declines have expanded so we have distribution here we don't have much support we do have higher highs but we also have some lower lows right here so this stock's distributing people aren't too sure about what to do about it um, obviously it's a mining stock uh, so that's been caught up probably in some residual COVID matters but um, we do have a bear market stock below the 200 day moving average the 20 day has gone flat and you know you're just left with basically just the five day which is clearly you know that you, you're now in it in a trader's market so just because it's been distributing does not mean it's going to make new lows this stock could easily have already have made its bottom back here in uh, july at around the uh what is that 2480 mark something like that but uh, it's hard to tell we don't you can't really do anything with moving averages once you get in a sideways market like this so it's really hard to say we we uh, normally what i would say is we get a rally perhaps up to 37 here by the end of september early october however this stock still looks like it's actively distributing to me so i don't see a whole lot of energy to do that so i'm going to say that this stock is a trader's market hovering around 29 30 bucks back and forth and i would expect it to continue to do that i know that's not a huge help but uh you get some get some movement up maybe to 33 and down as low as maybe 25. if we don't get um some type of support on this stock and if we violate uh you know this 27 to get down in the 25s you have to be very careful this stock doesn't sell off and violate its $24.80 lows back in uh, July. Fundamental reasons could force it to do that for sure. Um, I, I don't follow the fundamentals on this stock, so I'm not sure what's going on from an industry perspective, but it's clearly still distributing and it's clearly in a trader's market. So if, for traders, it's great. For long-term investors, I would not say that it's going to make a stab to uh, rally up and get into bull market territory above the 200 right in, you know within the next month i would not say that so traders market in this stock and probably most likely range between 33 and 25 dollars got to keep an eye on it though if it gets close to that 24 mark um it what, what would change my mind if this price gets firmly up above the five day the 20 day you get the 20 day the red moving average below it and it starts to make a strong rally to the 200 day moving average and it does that by the first week in october then this stock could be coming out of its bear market and and uh, perhaps getting back into a bull but i don't see that right this second all my opinion all for entertainment purposes only let's go down here and take a look and see what rbm research says about it with algorithmically generated prices right now our price is um high as thirty dollars seventy cents and a low is 29.53 so let's take a look and see what's going on here this stock's currently trading at thirty dollars sixty seven cents on volume of about nine million shares normal volume is 14 million let's see freeport mcmoran fcx yeah, we're saying a one day $30.38 and a 20 day hold uh, $30.91. So the way these work is you have one, five, and 20 day holding periods. As you can see here, these are trading days. The one day column is um, get in today, close out worst case, the end of trading tomorrow at a loss, uh, or just before trading closes tomorrow at a loss, or take your profits as soon as you get them. Same thing for the five day, same thing for the 20 day. If you bought a 20 day price, assuming your own analysis is a good idea, you would. Um, buy today get out at the end of 20 days uh trading days just before close at a loss or take your profits as soon as you get them and let's go back again here and re review again our low is 29.53 so we haven't touched these other two it looks like we've we've got into where we could do a, a one day trade on it at thirty dollars and 38 cents uh let's see here no the 
let's see. Yeah, we could do that. So you you're you're looking at um, you're in the buy range for the uh, for the uh, one day hold so far and have not hit the buy ranges for the others. Remember, it's got to trade through the price. Just because it's below it does not mean it's a good signal. You got to trade through it. Keep in mind these are all for entertainment purposes only, and you've got to use your own uh, analysis to make a decision. You can't use our prices for anything other than entertainment. Let me take a look real quick here. I'm having a hard time remembering. And it's hit the five day as well. So the, 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 the one day column and the five day column have been hit today. Uh, but again, you have to use your own analysis. The, all these prices, 190 plus stocks come out every morning before 7 a.m. Monday through Friday. These are current for today. You can get them all at rbamresearch.com. Absolutely free, no credit card required. And that is uh, available through a link in the description below. They're bef out before 7 a.m. For 190 stocks, Forex pairs, the major Forex pairs, BTC for crypto and the most liquid futures, everything but the stocks we have a long or short on and the stocks right now are, as I showed you, the three uh, different days for buys only. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do that. If you have a comment on moving averages, we'd love to hear them. If you like moving averages, please let us know in the comment section below. If you can't stand them, please let us know that as well. And keep in mind, everything you've seen and heard on here, including the analysis and our entry prices is for entertainment purposes only. You have to do your own analysis. You can only use our information, including the entry prices, for entertainment purposes only, and you definitely trade at your own risk.